Today I wanted to take a minute and talk about parallel planing. And it's a really simple technique and we're going to use just a really simple guitar chord to do that. And most of us know B minor from our Puff the Magic Dragon uh, lesson, uh, you know, a couple lessons ago. Uh, you can go ahead and take a look at that. But we're going to use the B7 sus 4. Okay, so we're all on fret 2, low E string. We're using the tip of the first finger to tuck it um, to mute it out. Index bars the D, G, and B strings on fret 2. Finger 2 presses down on fret 3 on the B string, and then finger 1 continues the bar through fret 2 on the high E string. Okay, so what we're going to do, the cool thing about, one of the many cool things about the guitar is we can use this shape in parallel form. Okay, to create some really beautiful things. Where, can, where else can we use this idea? Oh yeah, any chord that we play, right? We can have all kinds of fun with this. Another thing that we can do is we can use, you know, the blues. We can use we can use the blues. We can draw from the blues and use that. And we're planing between the five and the four chords and then and then anywhere we want to. You can plane into any chord that you would like to and anticipate any chord by just leaning a half step lower or a half step above each chord. And that's basically taking the same shape, you know, so all of the voices in the chord basically stay in the same sh place. They just all move up one in the same exact direction, okay? Or down one in the same direct, exact direction. Or they jump up a minor third, you know, one and, a half one and a half steps. Or, you know, and so on and so forth. You can be creative with this and use it to create some really great stuff for your guitar arrangements. I mean, if you wanted to share what you come up with, I'd love to see it. Take care. Until next time, happy picking.